Hey guys, Dominique Cana Incorporation. So, um, yeah, sitting at the light. So I just met a young lady, very nice, um, and she wanted to get into breeding. And so she was saying, you know, hey, I think I'm going to do Frenchies. Okay, why Frenchies? Oh, well, they, you know, you get $7,000 a piece. Oh, yeah, great. You know, it's like, so I'm trying to explain to her about, you know, why you might not want to do Frenchies. Well, I already have one. Oh, okay, is it registered? Well, no. Why is it not registered? Well, because it's, it's grandmother actually isn't a Frenchie. So, I'm thinking, so then you don't actually have a Frenchie. You, you have a, I hate to use the word name, mutt. But, you know, you have a mutt. You, you have something that's not a purebred. Um, and, you know, so we had a nice long conversation about, you know, you don't want to get into business that way. People, you know, you're not going to get $7,000 for a crossbreed, um, I hate to say other than the doodles, but you know the, these designer dogs, they they they're they're mutts, and it's I I don't typically promote it. I you know there are some uh, some advantages to the doodles, um, but uh, I personally would never raise them, and uh, I know a lot of people that also would not do it. Um, try not to pass a lot of judgment but just because they're doing it with the doodle doesn't mean you can do it with every single breed that's out there you can't just arbitrarily start crossing things up and saying well it's you know it's it's mostly a German Shepherd so it's it's a German Shepherd no no that's not how it works once you crossbreed something it is no longer that breed and you now have uh, something that you don't know what you're gonna get so sorry that's gonna kind of be a stump speech but you know, yeah people do your research look through my site make sure that you uh, pay attention to everything that I tell you because I'm telling you I'm trying to help you all right bye guys